Hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you. If y'all don't mind hitting the like and subscribe and that bell, sure would appreciate it. You know, I've been riding a long time and I've uh, done a lot of long distance riding, but it uh, hasn't always been easy for me. Um, but I have learned some things uh, that will help older riders. Why don't you stick around? You know, uh, I've done a lot of long distance riding. Uh, I'm older, and uh, even back in my 50s, uh, I had some issues uh, riding long distance and being comfortable and uh, trying to keep my health in order to ride. But I've learned a few things, and I thought I'd share them. So I've got the, some of the typical things. I've, I've made notes here. You know, physical health and strength, um, some of the things that have really helped me. Hello, neighbor. I, I end up going to the, uh, the gym two to three times a week. Um, I'm trying to keep my upper body strength up, especially when uh, I've got uh, Mrs. Geezer on the back. Uh, I'm really uh, cognizant of of when she's on the back of having enough strength to keep us both up at a light and uh, making sure that she's also feels confident in that so that's one of the things I do uh, and I used to do a lot of walking um, not too much anymore because of my knees but just to keep the blood flow going and uh, those things will really help you out quite a bit and then there's stamina and comfort Stamina. How do you keep going? Well, you know, you used to be able to ride 500 miles or so without a problem. Um, but not so much anymore, not without a little help. And uh, some of the things that I've done to the bike uh, may just help you out too. Um, I did, you know, changing your seat and changing your bars and even your uh, foot pegs out to uh, just something a little bit more comfortable will help you out a lot. I, I don't think much about that rider triangle that everyone talks about. I just want to know if I'm comfortable. Now, I didn't get a seat that was like that road sofa and make me too comfortable. Uh, I didn't want that. I was comfortable enough with the Saddleman SDC, but I wanted something to help me control that bike and to, to give me a hand. It's like uh, I can control it with my lower body, which, which just adds to the control of the bike. And, uh, and when you get older, the more control you have, the better. So I sacrificed a little bit of the comfort for that. Um, handlebars, of course. I had to uh, think about my arthritis. And I had to try a bunch of different things. And of course, uh, making sure your feet are in the right place. My wife uh, just drove me crazy until I got something that worked for her. But they all need to work together. And uh, the seat, the handlebars, and uh, where your feet are have to work together. Uh, you can really love these bars. You can really love that seat. But if they don't work all together, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. And this is what works for me. Uh, doesn't work for everybody. A lot of guys love those road sofas. A little bit too comfortable for me, I think. I didn't have as much uh, control of the bike. So whatever works for you. I found out early on what works for me uh, as far as uh, mufflers. And I don't like them too loud anymore. Of course, I have the... Uh, Reinhardt's, which are a little bit toned down, and I like that. But when I'm doing long distance, I don't want—I just don't want to get worn out. 
So those are things you can look at. Um, and if you have the money for another bike, you know, go try some out. But what worked for you maybe in your 40s or 30s may not work for you now. Pain. You know, pain is not all bad. Um, pain is what lets you know how far you can go. And uh, it's one of those things that you can control, but uh, I do not take painkillers. Um, I can't take the big painkillers. I don't, they don't do anything for me. And I don't want to take ibuprofen and naproxen and Tylenol. Um, that stuff will eventually just rot your insides and your kidneys and you don't want to keep taking that. So I'm more of a natural guy and, and uh, I do take a lot of turmeric. I've uh, had a lot of doctors in the past um, that I trust that know I don't like chemicals and I don't like drugs and they've had a lot of great suggestions for me. I, uh, the wife and I have a cardiologist who uh, He's one of those guys, we travel an extra two hours to go see him because he doesn't just recommend a drug. And uh, he's recommended quite a few things for us that are uh, quite natural and uh, helps our blood flow. And uh, we don't need a cardiologist because we're going to have a heart attack. It's just that when you get older, uh, it's good to find out where you stand. And uh, some of the things that uh, my doctors uh, over the past have recommended uh, are just more natural. Um, back in my 50s, I was in really bad shape for about, I don't know, a year and a half or a year. I could barely move. Um, I couldn't hardly walk upstairs. And uh, it, it was hard to even sit down. Um, nobody could figure out what it was. But I had a PA who said, let me test something. And uh, he tested me for vitamin D, and I had none. And vitamin D is something you lose as you get older. Um, not supposed to lose uh, as much as I lost, but uh, I ended up, uh, it took me about a week for him to have massive doses of vitamin C or vitamin D, which really changed my life. And now I take 10,000 units a day. I've been doing that for well, almost 20 years, uh, because I, I found out I've got a deficiency where most people can take, you know, 5,000 units or even 2,000 units. I got to take 10. And then he put me on uh, vitamin B12, uh, another, uh, put me on a couple of different Bs, but a broad spectrum B and vitamin B12. And my life just changed. And uh, I could get on a motorcycle like I was, you know, 40 years old and ride because I didn't have that pain and that stiffness and I wasn't taking a bunch of drugs and uh, I think you should probably have those kinds of things checked before you start jumping into drugs uh, and I'm pretty sure it will change your life like it did mine. Of course there's other physical issues that you may have, you know, mine's arthritis. Uh, I can't ride at night anymore very well. Uh, my night vision is pretty much gone to hell. And uh, so I don't really try it unless it's, uh, unless I have to. And if I can ride with three or four guys at night, I'll just hit the interstate uh, and I'll at least have extra headlights with me and uh, it'll make a much better target. And I usually like to be in the middle. So uh, uh, riding at night is just, it just sucks for me, so I try not to do it. And it happens as we get older. The night riding is just, doesn't become important anymore. So get up at dawn, get a hotel at dusk. And then everyone wants to talk about protection. I don't, I don't really tell people what to wear. Um, some people insist on, you know, a certain helmet here and there and uh, full face and uh, which I have a couple. Um, I like my half helmet because here in Florida it's, it's really hot but I can also see way better and for me um, I, I would rather see and not be confined in a full face but I do wear the full face if I think it's necessary that day. 
But uh, you know, you should ride for the slide and not uh, for anything else. If you're on that bike and uh, you take a tumble on it, your bones at 60 and 70 do not repair themselves as well. And uh, I know that because uh, when I was up in Oklahoma, bike fell on me and I broke my ankle. And I wasn't doing anything except standing there. Um, but I was wearing some, some pretty good uh, protection. My full face helmet didn't help me because it just fell on my leg. But I do have a couple of coats, uh, even in the summer down here, uh, the net coats. Uh, one of them's got really nice armor in the, uh, in the elbows and the, and the shoulders. And uh, I, I use those all the time. I just try uh, to have some minimal protection even when it's 80 and 90 degrees. And then there's the uh, nutrition thing. And I guess you guys uh, at this age have probably got some kind of really good diet that you're on. Uh, the wife and I try to eat organic now whenever we can. Uh, we've noticed a big difference in our energy, and uh, it seems to help quite a bit. Um, but taking care of yourself physically is a, is a, is a big deal, and uh, it will help you uh, ride better, more, you know, ride longer. Um, and there's things, you know, you want to ride long distance, make a few stops. Make more stops than you normally would. Um, Stop at a gas station, get, keep yourself hydrated, walk around. Um, those are the things that uh, you'd be surprised. You can make 500 miles, just you know, stop a few times and uh, keep hydrated. But, uh, and try to ride with a bud when you're older, um, because who knows what happens if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, at least you got a, a bud that can make a phone call if you can't. So, anyway, that's just a few tips for riding, riding long distance, riding when you're older. So, see you next time.